between the boardwalk, avoided the cracks in the boardwalk, didn't even stop, walked all the way down to the edge and dropped out of sight, guys, that's freaky. This is very bad luck. Very bad luck indeed. Do you reckon I'll be able to find that today? Well, look, to be honest, I'm, I'm not confident. Uh, it's a uh, large resort for us. Large resort, uh, yeah. We, we, we're really the only resort. Yeah, we, all that we, is, yeah. We thought about it and we just didn't know what to do and uh, yeah. we did been searching on the website. Yeah. Come up with your business, gave you a call. Um, yeah. Got a fingers crossed, but yeah. I'm not overly confident. Yeah, okay. No, it's alright. Not too many people are. And it is brackish water too. Yeah, it is. So yeah. I'm going to get down there, guys. I might only see maybe one foot in front of my face. Maybe not even that. Alright, so I'm going to get you to take me down there now. We'll go through it step by step and see where the entry point is as well on where we can actually go in and enter the water because it is going to be a dive job. Alright, Kingsley? Good luck. Get down there, yeah. See where it is. Alright, guys. Didn't know it. 10 metres down here. Yep, just keep going straight ahead. You can see actually on the boardwalk just here as well, plenty of cracks and crevices. It could have fallen down, it could have landed straight in the bush, but instead rolled straight off the edge. We're just at the location. Where did it actually roll off? Rolled up off the edge here, down oh, under the, the edge. timber, yeah. all the way across, missed the edges, missed the gap, and gone straight over. The straight over the drink. So I'll just come over here, and then I'll just get you to point for me. Okay, straight over the edge, yeah, we'll bring it over. It's going to be where that metal pole is right there. Correct. Okay, perfect. Now we know the location, look for a safe entry point so I can get this dive done, guys. Obviously, I can't get my tank and just throw it over the side. I don't know what's in this water. It is very murky and it is very windy today. Get in there safely, guys. We're going to find this ring today. All right, guys, let's go find that entry point. I'm going to come down here, bring all my gear. The car's parked just about five minutes away. Going to get the tank out, get the Suzuba gear ready, the mine lab metal detector, and also the Garrett pinpointer. Drop straight over the side. We're going to find that ring, guys. All right. I'll see you in about 15 minutes, hopefully. Good luck. Thank you. Let's get it done, guys. Okay, just going to get the Suzuba set up, mine lab metal detector. Just down here, we'll get into it. Filming. I'm glad I, bought, I just bought a few dive shoes, too. I didn't actually know they had a. Uh, Hard yeah, Bit of a worry, isn't it? Big carp and seafood restaurant next to it. <laughs> know what you're eating? <laughs> you're not ordering the flat end. <laughs> Yeah, he found um, 35 grand's worth of rings the other day. Did well, wow. did really well. For the lady, yeah. oh, yes. it was her rings. Don't you reckon he looks like one of those little characters out of the kids shows? Yeah, Telly Tubby. Hey, there. <laughs> <laughs> They'll go, oh, the Telly Tubby's yeah. back in the river again. What's your vision like? What's that? What's the vision like? Nothing yet. Dropping in the uh, sophisticated locating device. We're in the location search area. Kingsley's just going to drop the marker on where we think the ring is, guys. All right, Kingsley. Let her wreck. As you can see, guys, it's right next to that metal pole. It's going to be fun. It's pretty murky down there. Let's go down and see what we can find, guys. Hopefully, that ring.
There's a lot of trash down there. I'm oh, not too sure about that. What do you reckon, Kingsley? Is that your ring? <laughs> All right, we scored another one, guys. All right, I'll bet you back on shore. <laughs> yeah, water tastes good. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's down there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, murky water, guys. <laughs> There's some big carp in here, too. I was after a big storm here in the eastern suburbs. Check that out. That is beautiful. Three nice diamonds in there too. <laughs> Good job guys. Always find a safe entry point. And this is not only your entry point, it is also your exit point. As you can see, coming down was not difficult, but coming back up, as I am wet, and my tank weighs 25 to 30 kilo, this small incline I am having difficulty with. So always remember guys, safety first. Here's a very happy man for you. Very happy. <laughs> yep, all good. After every dive, always make sure you wash down all your gear. Anything that touches water, whether it be fresh water or salt water, make sure you wash it all down. <laughs> take two, take two, and three, three, two, one. <laughs> 